just a matter of time and today it happened what occurs when you continue bothering and molesting these crypto companies here in the united states they leave even though they haven't left the u.s coinbase has now launched breaking news an international exchange and they've been getting praised by the leaders in the crypto industry and let me tell you what is going on on top of that they're now getting more lawsuits and more legal confrontation from the united states government i don't really want them to leave the u.s they're a big player here for all of us but why are our legislators and lawmakers not understanding that crypto is the next big thing because they really want to continue the traditional banking system they're trying to bail out their friends and that's not what the community wants let me tell you the full story don't forget to smash the like button everybody and welcome aboard international exchange today launched coinbase this is something big, right? And I'm sure that it was already on their head doing this, not necessarily because of all the lawsuits coming from the, the United States, but this speed up the transition to launch this awesome product that now it's out. And that's very good, you know? Uh, this is the new Twitter, and this is the new website, how it looks, bringing the most trusted, secure name in the crypto global market. So kudos to Coinbase, right, for doing this. Now, we start with the... With the comments from the CEO of Circle saying, very excited to see Coinbase launch highly competitive, excellence, execution, product quality, and USDC as the sole native digital dollar. Obviously, he's behind USDC. And when USDC was the pegging, he immediately came out. Everything went fine. So used for funding, collateral trading. Congrats, Brian Armstrong. And we know Brian, the CEO, has been on the face forefront of the lines when it comes to defending the crypto community everybody a leader definitely a leader in this space here in the united states defending us now we have tyler winkleblos ceo of gemini saying great news he's a competitor but i mean they know each other crypto is global important we'll learn that congrats he's saying that because even though if you ban it stop it want to regulate it all the way to the moon I mean, doesn't even matter. I mean, we leave the U.S. and then we go ahead and do business elsewhere where they open the doors. That's good for the crypto companies, but not so good for us, the users. And these legislators really are, some of them have no idea what is going on. They just want to have a war, an anti-crypto army, Elizabeth Warren. It is not the best way to go, but thanks to AI, blockchain, crypto, things are going to do much better. And now, Coinbase sued for alleged privacy violations related to customer biometrics in Illinois. I don't have all the full information on this. It was just breaking today, earlier. So we'll get to see more on that and a response for sure. But just know that obviously there's could be nothing's perfect. There could be something else going on. But Brian Armstrong and the team, I hope they will come up with a nice and appropriate action on this. Right now. What in the fall? I mean, what is this one, right? Well, in executing the next chapter for Coinbase, go abroad, go deep. Coinbase International and Exchange brings the safest, most trusted name in crypto to the global derivatives market. So this is going to be derivatives so going long, going short, and all that kind of thing. Obviously, it could look really beautiful and pretty right now on paper, but we'll have to see until this is actually adopted by a lot of millions of people and we can have more feedback. But... In the broader sense is Coinbase is as a product now outside the United States. And if the regulation and oversight continues, they will already have an edge to say goodbye, US. I know that is miles away, but dude, I don't want that to happen because if you think about it, Binance is the leader of many of the volume here for each of the cryptos. But Coinbase is the leader here in the United States, not even crypto.com. So we'll have to be aware of that, everyone, right? When it comes to USDC, take a look at the markets. Who is the, I mean, Coinbase somewhere here. There's all the one big players that don't really have all the jurisdiction here in the US, like Binance or KuCoin. And they're still putting up really amazing numbers. So I'm pretty sure, guys. Worst comes to worst, uh, Coinbase is going to be fine. And the rest of the crypto exchanges that are decent, that do have a great team, foundation, and security, the bad ones will, the bad ones will perish here in the U.S. if the current administration continues because they only know how to do this. Spend money, 
print money and just be reckless by sending money overseas instead of spending it here domestically. Do you agree? Like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Breaking news today coming from Coinbase. Really happy for them. Let them lead. Let them continue working. And that's it. Hopefully, we can still use our Coinbase wallets and more. It's all decentralized, but the exchange and everything, that's, of course, here in the U.S. See you next time, guys. Peace.